The U.S. women and men's national soccer teams have agreed on a new CBA. Last Wednesday, it was announced that after some years of negotiations for a new CBA from both sides, they finally came to the table on a new deal. The new CBA has been approved by the USF, USSF's Board of, Gov of Directors and ratified by the two players' union. It will run through 2028 and it will combine the split World Cup prize money awarded by FIFA. In 2019, the U.S. Solent national soccer team filed a gender discrimination lawsuit seeking improved working conditions and around $67 million in back pay and damages. It was originally dismissed, but it was finally settled in February of this year. The women's previous CBA ended in 2021, but was extended earlier this year. The new labor deal provides for identical camps, match appearances, and performance fees for both official competitions and friendlies. The prize money for non-World uh, non Cup tournaments will be split by both sides. U.S. soccer will share a portion of its broadcast and sponsorship income with the two teams split at 50-50. They also ag agreed to provide match venues, fields, hotel accommodations, support, and staffing of equal quality and comparable cost to both the U.S. men's national team and the U.S. women's national team. With the new CBA, both the women and the men's U.S. national soccer teams will be among the highest paid in the world.